What's up guys and gals? Welcome to Nine High Productions. It's Nye here and today is Vlogmas Day 20. Yes, 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 yes. Even though Ty and I are sharing Vlogmas, like I still feel like it's kicking my butt. It's kicking my butt. It's really kicking my butt. Like, yeah. Anyway, the editing, the filming, all of it. So, it's day 20, which means it's only a few more days left for Vlogmas. is going to be the 2016 tag video so I'm giving y'all today there's 10 questions so let's go ahead and jump into it the first question is what has been your highlight of 2016 hmm. Hmm. there has honestly been so many highlights like overall 2016 has been a really good year of course there's been things that have happened that have had a negative impact impact that's with anything but overall i'll have to say 2016 has been a pretty good year as far as highlights so many different things um i would say i'm just gonna say a bunch of different ones i can't choose whatever comes to my head so one highlight for sure is starting youtube ty and i uh started a channel together obviously and um we we're both obsessed with YouTube. She wanted to start one. I wanted to start one, but we didn't know that the other one wanted to start one. So then we found out we started one together. That makes sense. And then we started one on our own. So we both have our own channels. Okay, yeah. So that's definitely uh, my highlight. I'm having so much fun with YouTube. Like I really love doing it. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a highlight. Um, let's see. Uh, I did go to the Beyonce concert twice, the Formation World Tour. What? Because it was just that great. The first time I went, I had nosebleed seats, but the second time, I had floor seats. So it was definitely an amazing experience both times. But of course, being so close to the stage just made it an even better experience. Uh, what else? Cutting up all my hair, guys. That was for sure a highlight for me of 2016. I have been wanting to cut my hair for a while but never actually had the you know the the to do it so um i didn't and then i realized how damaged my hair was and it was growing but it was thin and i was like you know what i'm just gonna chop it all off wear it short start over so that was definitely a highlight when i first cut it though i hated it like literally when i first cut it i cried i cried on the way home I don't want nobody to see me. I don't want nobody to look at me. I was like, I look like a boy. I look like a man. Like, what is going on? But then it definitely grew on me. It didn't take long, especially when I started to get compliments. So that's a highlight. Um, what else? My best friend got engaged. That's definitely a highlight. And Ty also got engaged. That was definitely a highlight. Like, all my friends falling in love and getting engaged. Christina got married. It's just been so many wonderful things. So, yes, 2016 has been a good year. So those are all all my highlights all right question number two any regrets from 2016 or what would you have done better so the way I live my life the way my life is set up I ain't got no time to be regretting nothing I ain't got no time to be crying myself to sleep saying I shoulda coulda woulda I believe everything happens for a re a reason everything happens in the order that it was supposed to so do I have any regrets no no regrets for me. All right, number three. Any habits from last year which you will continue? <sighs> any habits? Well, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of habits I have. Um, okay, so I'm really into taking baths. I've always been taking baths, but like this year, I just went crazy with taking baths. Like, I need to take a bath like every day. And if I miss a day, I'm like, something's off. So if I'm going to continue something, it's definitely going to be my tradition of taking a bath every single day, as well as a shower. So I take a bath at night and a shower in the morning. So that will be something, uh, not tradition, habit that I'm going to keep intact. Okay, four, who is one person you would think in 2016 that has made a great impact on this year? Oh my God, once again, so many people. First and foremost, I'm going to start with my mom. Um, love you, boo. I'll say both my parents. So yes, they always make an impact on my life. So I would say them. Um, and besides that, I mean, I would just honestly say my family and my really, really close friends overall. Like my close friends, you guys know who you are. You guys know I'm always like, oh my God, thank you for being such a great man. Oh man. So yes, those people. Okay. Um, favorite song of 2016. Ugh. Okay, favorite song would have to be, y'all know what I'm about to do. Y'all know what, where I'm going, who I'm about to pull up.
Okay, let me stop before I get copyright. Um, so if you don't know, which you should know, and it's a shame if you don't know, that is Sorry by Beyonce from the Lemonade album. Yes. Okay, that is my favorite song of 2016. Um, favorite item of clothing in 2016? Hmm. Honestly, I mean, I don't have net, I don't have like a go-to item that I feel like I wear a lot. So, hold on, pause. Um, I can't think of anything like, I'm going to cheat a little bit and say favorite shoes. Now, I love heels, y'all, but you know, you can't wear heels literally everywhere. Well, you can, but then your feet going to hurt, so not really. So, I have really fallen in love with these three pair of Nike that I have. Like, oh my God, so... Like, I'm that kind of person that's like, when I get obsessed with a shoe, I want, like, every color. So, periodically throughout the year, I have purchased, like, more and more and more. I don't feel like going to my room getting every single pair of these type of shoes that I have. But these are the ones that I would consider to be my favorite. So, these black Nikes, they're so freaking comfortable. These olive green Nikes, so cute. And then, the purple ones. I would say these are my favorite um I don't wear them that much because they're purple and I don't have like a whole bunch of stuff to wear with it but they're super comfortable they feel like pillows on my feet so I would have to say that's my favorite clothing from 2016 okay three words to describe 2016 <sighs> this has been a year of excitement epiphanies and growth like growth would be if I could like write it in big huge capital letters that's what I would say that 2016 has been for me personally it has been a year of growing and I'm still continuing to grow so yes that's how I would describe 2016 how old will you be turning in 2016 I ain't none of y'all business okay I ain't none of y'all business I'm gonna be 19 I'm gonna be in my late 20s, guys. Okay, let's just leave it at that. My late 20s. Ugh. It's hard to even fix my mouth to say that. What are you looking forward to the 2017? Oh my god! I'm looking forward to so many different things, you guys, for 2017. Some I can say, some I can't say. But um, I'm looking forward to so many different things. Um, of course, YouTube, duh, that's going to be first on my list. Um, and just a variety of other things. Like my best friend is getting married. Ty is getting married. Like there's, there's going to be a lot happening in 2017. And I am ready for all of it. Like so excited. And the last question is who will you tag to this video? Everyone everybody you do it you do it you do it you back there hiding you do it you who watching this while you at work you do it you who's supposed to be paying attention to your kid and you watching this you do it <laughs> I'm just like, but i tag everybody okay and if you guys do it comment below let me know and i will check it out well that's it guys thank you so much for tuning in to nine type productions vlogmas day 20. Ding. <laughs> peace out guys